All right, let's recap uh, the contestants who made it through today. 22-year-old full-time national serviceman Noel Ong fought his way through the course with his glasses on. Wow, the scholarly-looking fella surprised us with his strength, proving once again that ninjas come in all shapes and forms. The fastest guy from the trials, Adriel Chu, was the second guy today to qualify for the tower. The 23-year-old student from the Singapore Management University used his rock climbing abilities to tackle the nets, the walls, and the ropes, making it to the finish. While Adriel wasn't the fastest in stage one, he still made good time. That's right, he sure did. Our very last finalist for this series, Auxiliary Police Officer Rifti Abdullah, was a monster on the Sasuke Singapore course. With a speed and agility, he ripped up the course. The obstacles had nothing on him. Not only did he beat Kelvin Ong's time of one minute and seven seconds, the 24-year-old now holds the record of having the fastest Sasuke stage one time in all of Southeast Asia. Well done, Rifty. Well done, my friend. And let's check out the leaderboard. Shocking. I am very impressed, Rifty. That was very nifty. <laughs> but you just ensured that I will not be getting my dinner from Hamish over here. <laughs> Mike, I think that's reason enough to celebrate regardless. All right, everyone at home, thank you so much for watching. Next week, we hit the tower. That's right. And to be the winner, our finalists will have to scale the 20-meter tall tower in the fastest possible time. That's right. It's going to be one heck of an episode. You surely don't want to miss it. My name is Mike Kasem. And I'm Hamish Brown. We'll see you next week on Sassafras, Singapore.